for the stories that are flooding the feeds. All right, now, y'all know that Lindsay Lohan, there's big news for Lindsay Lohan. I didn't even know this. Lindsay Lohan is having a baby. Oh. Yes, I didn't. Had no clue. Lindsay Lohan is 36 years old. She's expecting her first child with her husband, Bader Shamus. Oh. Bader Shamus. That sound like he got money. Bader <laughs> Shamus. So she posted on her social media a baby onesie saying, coming soon. And I love that, because I didn't even know. I'm, I was like, I asked everybody this morning, when? That don't even look like Lindsay Lohan. She looks like a soccer mom. Because y'all remember Lindsay Lohan. I said, when did she get married? But apparently, both of them got, they got married April 2022, so it's almost been a year. And Bader is a financier. Okay, I knew he had money. And uh, <laughs> they live quietly in Dubai. So I'm just like, I can't even believe it was Lindsay, because y'all remember when Oprah had Lindsay on her show, and everybody was like, Oprah, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with this. With... <laughs> And I think they didn't even do the whole season, did they? Didn't they end the show? Who early? knows what? That was that was the early phase of of own. But I think they finished the season. They finished before. the season, but yeah. it was rough, boy. It was Oprah rough. came out looking yeah. like she'd been through the war <laughs> after she had got done with Lindsay. But wow, congratulations to Lindsay and Bader on the new baby <laughs> and the marriage and living quietly. Now another one, Avril Lavigne had to confront a heckler on live television. Now, Avril was uh, presenting at the Juno Awards this week, and the Juno Awards is like the Grammys for Canada when a topless protester jumped on stage in the middle of Avril's appearance. <laughs> she said, get the F off, bitch. That's what she said <laughs> to the girl. But I gotta tell you, I don't like people getting on stage to take a moment for their cause. I'm a stand-up comic, so, like, that space is supposed to be protected area, because, number one, somebody jumps on their stage, you don't know what they're gonna do. That's very, very scary. And I know she was wondering, where the hell is security <laughs> while she was standing up there? But let me tell you something. If you wanna jump on stage naked on my stage, I'm hitting you right in your daggone boob. I'm not playing around. I, don't do that. The hand that's not holding the mic instinctively would have been like this, or even the hand that's holding the mic. I'd have been to hit you right with that mic in your boob. I don't, I don't like that, but I love that. Because I know Avril saw this girl on the stage and was wondering where is security, but, but I gotta say, I love how Avril got tough when she saw security. Then she was like, bitch, get the F off the stage. <laughs> You started way too late, Avril. That girl was able... You know, here's the thing. She gonna get on stage naked, walk around all on stage, because you got... You, she had all... She had lines on the front. She had words all on the back. Now you gotta read all of that on her body. Look at that. Uh, Avril, you should have hit her right with that microphone. Shoot. Um, I said it, and I said it. When you confront somebody, when you get on, on stage, you, anything that happens is anything that happens. I don't know if y'all remember back in 2000, was it 2013? When uh, former First Lady Michelle Obama was giving a speech and somebody tried to heckle Michelle Obama. And this is what I love. They tried to heckle her from when they were seated and Michelle Obama walked off the stage, got in the woman's face and she said, is this what we gonna do? You wanna say something to me? I remember like the day I was born. And then the lady started stammering and stuttering, and then she, they escorted her out, and then she was like, I was so scared! <laughs> and I said, that's the Shy town girl. Don't do that to Michelle Obama. Uh-uh. Cause see, when people do that kind of stuff, when people heckle, they never expect you to confront them back. They like to heckle for So when Michelle said, it, it, say it to my face, that's the thing. Then they run and they go. That's what you should have said, Avril. Say it to my face. She'd have been hit, covered up by <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's gonna come out of my paycheck. I already know, Joy. I already know. I'm sorry. I suppose I've been saying boobs. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all, uh, girl, no, that's her. They gonna call me a human resources. They already. <laughs> that, that's, I already know the walk. They got my footsteps right to human resources. <laughs> Y'all, Khloe Kardashian revealed her seven-month-old son's face for the first time. So she showed off his face in an Instagram post. He looks just like his sister, wishing her baby daddy, Tristan Thompson, a happy birthday. Or as a lot of the women on my staff like to call him, Trashton Thompson. <laughs> And it's because Tristan cheated on Chloe multiple times. 
So Chloe wrote on her post, she said, your love, attention, silly dances, hugs, <laughs> carpool rides, bedtime rituals, the way you show up for them, all of the above means more than you'll ever know to your family of littles. Happy birthday, baby daddy. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 and I want to see Chloe happy, but Chloe, you're not fooling nobody with this pose because <laughs> a lot of us, uh, you know, have gone through getting cheated on. This message is not for the kids. This message is for Tristan to see it. This message to me says, I want to get back with you um, because you disabled your comments. And because we know, and you disabled the comments because you know we're going to say this, Chloe. It's one thing to honor, because I think you can be a great dad, but a bad husband, a great dad, a bad boyfriend. So it's one thing to honor the father that you are. But on social media, you put stuff on social media because you want people to see it. Like, you know, <laughs> and so, and this is why I think she still likes Tristan, because you're honoring him as the, as the baby daddy and all of the stuff he does. But here's the thing. I don't know if the last time True went scrolling through your Instagram feed to see who you honor. So you're not doing it for the kids. I feel like she's doing it to get, you know, she still is in love with Tristan. And I like Chloe. And I just, I, I really, I think, like, it's therapy. I think because, you know, Maya Angelou, I think, was it Maya Angelou that said, when they show you who they are, Believe them the first time. So when you keep, when you keep getting back with a man like Trashton, that's my staff likes to call him, it means that you, oh, here's the thing, y'all. When you keep getting back with a dude that just keeps cheating on you and doing stuff, and, it, and I'm about to go with the grown women. Y'all know this. That, he got some good stuff. That, <laughs> And you was like, and you keep getting back with him because it's them days when you just like, oh. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> when that man, and then you be mad because you be like, you remember it. And yeah, you got to, you call, oh, I can't stand you, but ooh, it feels, <laughs> ooh, it feels good. So I'm like, Chloe, just call up Tristan and tell him. Be honest, girl, tell him, look, it's late. Can you come, can you come over? <laughs> you feeling a little lonely and it's okay. We all do that. Girl, but I think go to therapy so that you can figure out what, you know, how to separate that, that he's your, that. And the one last thing I want to say to Chloe is, Chloe, you keep calling him your baby daddy. The, you too rich to call him your baby daddy. And the tax bracket that you in, that's your, your child's father. The father of your child. Because you too rich. Baby daddy, when you go, he my baby daddy. You know what that means? <laughs> baby daddy means you know I'm home. The, the key is underneath the mat at the back door. That's what baby daddy means. Baby daddy means I'm home, the kids are not. Come on over, baby daddy. We want to get you into the father of the children. So we, we want you to be happy, Chloe. I think you need to move on. I do. I do. <laughs> And y'all, that's flooding the fees.